This Sunday, the 4th of February, it is World Cancer Day. And uh, the day marks all the efforts done by the World Health Organization under the United Nations and all other global organizations towards the uh, fight against cancer. One of those organizations is the Pink Drive, which does amazing work in terms of awareness and research. And this morning, together with Santaco and different government departments, they are running testing stations at the Barra Taxi Rank. And Palessa is uh, coming from there. So let's cross over to her to find out what it's all about. Good morning to you, Palessa. A very good morning to Leanne and a very good morning to our viewers, as you rightfully said. Uh, this morning we live from uh, Barra Taxi Rank, Mwona Sowetu, and we are Peter Sela because people are going to work, some are going to school, but most importantly, some have actually taken their time out to come and do tests. It's not just women, but it's men as well that we have seen coming here in large numbers. We do know, of course, the significance of uh, detecting cancer early, but to talk about that now, I'm joined by the minister in the president's responsible for women. Uh, uh, Susan Shabangu, also Mr. Uh, Shuichiro Kawagui, he is uh, the Deputy Ambassador for Japan here in South Africa because they're contributing in terms of financially assisting this pink drive. Let's say good morning to them and find out um, how we commemorating this day here in South Africa. Minister, good morning to you. Thank you so much for coming through and Deputy Ambassador, good morning to you. Morning, Palisa, and morning to the viewers. Thank you so much, uh, Minister. Now, uh, talk to us as to how this pink drive sort of tie into your mandate of accelerating socioeconomic um, empowerment of uh, women, of course. I must say that this is uh, the pink drive. It's very critical, especially today, where we're moving towards the World uh, Cancer Day. It becomes key because when you talk about pink, you're talking about women mainly. Therefore, it fits in so well, as we know, that we need healthy women. We need to make sure that as women contribute to the socioeconomic of our situation, they are healthy. So the issue of awareness, but also making sure that women are aware about their own health environment and health situations becomes very critical. As we all know, we are seeing in the country a rise, an increase in breast cancer, in cervical cancer, colon cancer, and all many other cancers. Therefore, it's critical for us if we really want to contribute positively to our economy in ensuring that women go out to test but also make sure that on a regular basis we go on a big drive like today where we talk to our communities, we talk to our young women because the people still think that cancer affects those who are ill, it doesn't affect only their communities. So it's critical to go to our various communities as we're here today at Barra Taxi Rank talking to the people, talking to the commuters as they go to work to make sure that they go and test on regular basis, but they talk about it because you can test, but if you don't talk, it's not going to help us. Continuous and a conscious decision where our people must talk about cancer in their communities, in elderly people, in their neighbors, encourage everyone to go out and test, including young women. All right, let me just bring the uh, Deputy Ambassador into the conversation. Um, you sort of sponsoring and funding this initiative. Um, Nulin, the organizer, was telling me earlier on that you've even brought new vehicles for them. Why do you see the importance of being part of this initiative? Yes, uh, breast cancer is a global issue, a global challenge. And uh, Japan and South Africa are a very good friend. And uh, there is no reason why we don't support. This is uh, very uh, important and uh, best way of uh, taxpayers' money. That's why we support uh, Pink Drive. But why specifically cancer? How, how, talk to us about the prevalence of cancer back home in Japan. Yes, uh, cancer is one of the uh, most serious diseases in Japan, and uh, public awareness is very important. That's why that uh, we support. Uh, now, Minister, uh, back to you. Um, there's a growing concern, really, about cancer and uh, um, HIV, or rather cancer, the link between the two. What is government's position on this issue? Well, as you know, that uh, government had run or is running a successful campaign on HIV. But what we're seeing, we're seeing cancer sort of tending to overtake that space now. And there's a relationship between the two. They are interlinked, the healthy living, also the issue of uh, awareness, 
behavioral changes are very critical. It does not only apply to HIV, it also applies to cancer. So the two are, if you're not healthy, it means you become uh, vulnerable to various, your immune system get compromised. That is why we are not talking to elderly people only or elderly women. We're also talking to young women. Very critical for young women to behave properly. Their living lifestyles must change. They must be conscious about what they do go checkups on a regular basis. But what I also want to say, why we are here today, we also have to educate our children, yes. small kids. We're going to talk about that. I know that you and I are here okay. for the rest of Great. the morning. So we're here, we'll do a walkabout, we'll talk about that. Thank yeah. you so much indeed to the Minister and the President responsible for Women and the Deputy Ambassador for Japan and South Africa, uh, Mr. Gawagui.